Question number nine. This question is about the uh, dissociation of HI to form H2 and I2. And it started with B mode of HI and at equilibrium X mode of HI had dissociated. Total pressure is P. Try to get the expression for Kp. First, we need to start with the ICE table. So, for the initial, HI is B, H2 and I2 both 0. C, change. The question already mentioned, the HI is has X mode dissociated. So therefore, HI must be minus X. When HI is minus X, H2 and I2 must both plus X over 2. Because the mole ratio of HI to the H2 and I2 is 2 to 1. So that's why when it's changed, the H2 and I2 must be halved compared to the HI. So means when HI is minus X, H2 and I2 must be plus X over 2 plus X over 2. Okay, after that, we need to find the E. So we just need to sum up I and C, then we'll get E. I and C will get E. I and C will get E. So after we sum up, then we get okay, B minus X for HI. H2 is X over 2. I2 is X over 2. Another very important thing we need to get is the mole fraction. In order to get the mole fraction, we must, we must get the total mole. So we sum up the moles at equilibrium. So B minus X plus X over 2 plus X over 2, we end up with B. B now is the total mole for this mixture. After that, we need to use this KP expression to get the answer. So we know that KP is equal to partial pressure of H2 times partial pressure of I2 over partial pressure of HI squared because it's from the equilibrium. The products over the reactant. So therefore, we need to get the partial pressure okay, of all the species involved. Partial pressure of HI. So we must use the mole fraction to get it. Okay, how to get the mole fraction? Mole fraction is the mole of the species over total mole. The mole of HI is B minus X. So over total mole. This is the mole fraction of HI times the total pressure. So this is the partial pressure of HI. Partial pressure of H2 and I2, same. So we need to get the mole fraction of these two. So it's X over 2 over B, means it's going to be X over 2B. So this is the mole fraction of these two species times the total pressure. So we get the partial pressure for these three gases already. So now we need to substitute this one and this one into the KP expression. So we will get this. And rearrange, solve it. So we will get, at the end we'll get this x squared over 4 times b minus x bracket square. So it means its answer is d. That's all for this question. Thank you.